Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Lions franchise. This is season five, game one. We are going to play in Seattle against the Seahawks. They have had an excellent draft and did not reach for a single player. And we are going to see a couple of these rookies start in their offense and defense as Raheem McLaughlin got even faster there, plus one speed. He is now at 95 speed as a slot receiver. I love it. And they are still quarterbacked by Russell Wilson, still an X factor, deep, medium, and short accuracy, all elite. They still have DK Metcalf, 96 speed, 94 excel, excellent catching ratings, just his route runnings are not that great. Daron Payne, 99 strength, 90 block shedding. He's going to be a pain in the middle of the defense. Landon Watkins, the second round rookie, he's going to start as well. Great linebacker they picked up. Second year corner, Oscar Porter, 95 speed. He has good man coverage, but his press and zone abilities lack a little bit. He has so much makeup speed though, so... That's going to be a problem for our receiving core. They also have Dallas Goddard at tight end. They still have Bobby Wagner and Jamal Adams at middle linebacker and strong safety. So that is going to be a huge issue for our offense. But we'll see how it goes. This game is underway now. Rookie receiver Cesar Ortiz makes a move and he is stopped at the 24 yard line. And Dwayne Haskins is going to come onto the field. Start in 11 personnel. Carry on Johnson. Going nowhere. Stopped at the 27. That's a couple of yards. Second and seven. Screen is set up. There is a flag down. And Calvin Short is tripped up from behind. Second year edge rusher Marco Brown on the stop. But there is a flag down. And that is going to be roughing the passer against DeAndre Ferguson, the ex Lion. Carry on Johnson runs it to the left, but nowhere to go. A couple yards. Third and three. Dwayne Haskins gets it away, and TJ Hawkinson cannot hang on to the football. And even if he had, that would not have been a first down. So the football goes to the Seattle Seahawks as Chris Carson is stopped there in the backfield second and 10 over the middle and there is a hit applied that's Josh Reynolds the slot receiver Russell Wilson checks it down to the flats there is Dallas Goddard with a first down catch Russell Wilson gets it to the outside and that is second tight end Caden Smith and he has a few yards on third and short they run it and it's a first down and some more now Russell Wilson with the double slants, he scrambles, throws a crossbody, and what a catch by Josh Reynolds. He has a first down at the sideline, a one-hander, and dragging his feet. And then Russell Wilson tries to do it again, but this time he is off target for Tyler Lockett. Screen is set up, but it is blown up by Carl Lowe's Jefferson in the backfield. That's a huge loss. Third and 14 coming up. Russell Wilson scrambles around and runs for it, but slides after a five-yard pickup. That is going to be another punt. Dwayne Haskins hands it off to Carrion Johnson, and he is stopped with a four-yard gain. Third and six coming up. Dwayne Haskins over the middle. It's Arthega Whiteside, and he has 21 yards and a first down catch. Second and 12 now, Dwayne Haskins. They set up the screen. There is Calvin Short, and he tries to cut it upfield, but he is stopped shy of the sticks. Third and two, Dwayne Haskins throws it and is off the mark for Kerryon Johnson, and that is another fourth down, another punt. Chris Carson, he runs it to the outside, is stopped by Tracy Walker with a nine-yard pickup. Chris Carson has a first down and then some. That's about six. Russell Wilson hands it off a another time and Chris Carson has 
A few yards, third and five. Wilson over the middle and that's caught. Dallas Goddard even breaks a tackle, that's 12. And a first down almost at midfield now. Second and six, Wilson scrambles to the outside and he is tracked down by Carlos Jefferson. Takes him down for a sack. And that's third and long coming up. Really great work by Jefferson getting after him and tracking him down. Third and 13 and Wilson is off the mark and even if he hadn't been, Ramon Colon would have been there to make the stop. Second and seven for the Lions. And there is a nice catch for rookie receiver Orlando Kershaw. He was not drafted by the Lions though. He was cut by the Cardinals. And then the Lions picked them up. Now there is Raheem McLaughlin and he has a first down catch. Motion now for Calvin Short. He passes it to the outside. Short gets to the outside and absorbs the hit by Jamal Adams. But still it's a first down. Dwayne Haskins is pressured. Gets it away. And there is an incomplete Pass that was Raheem McLaughlin downfield, but he couldn't hang on. Carry on Johnson up the middle. He's taken down with a five yard gain. Third and five. Dwayne Haskins, four man pressure. He gets it away to the outside. McLaughlin with a first down catch, eight yards. Haskins on the bootleg, and he is not off the mark. Arthega Whiteside was interfered with so that is going to be a free first down and they call Oscar Porter here for the PI carry on Johnson going absolutely nowhere third and nine coming up Haskins over the middle and that is caught TJ Hawkinson with a first down catch and now into field goal range as we approach the two minute warning it's about four minutes left in the second quarter Dwayne Haskins gets it away to the outside. Lindell Thierry bulldozes one guy. Falls ahead. First down. Second and eight at the 12. Dwayne Haskins. He has nobody open. But what a catch made by Raheem McLaughlin. One-hander. Third and three motion for Lindell Thierry. And Haskins goes down. He lost the football. Marco Brown returns it the other way across midfield. There he is, and he is slowing down a lot, and he's taken down by Arthega Whiteside, finally at the Lions' 8-yard line. Huge return, and first and goal from the 8. Russell Wilson scrambles to his left, and then he cuts it upfield and runs into the end zone. Terrence Rodriguez did not have the speed to take him down. And that is a 7-0 lead for Seattle instead of Detroit. So now a minute and 37 left. Motion for short and he runs it to the outside. Gets out of bounds. Has 9 yards. Third and 1. Dwayne Haskins gets it away. There is Calvin Short and this time he's taken down inbounds. So that keeps the clock running. About a minute and seven left. Dwayne Haskins is going down and he was hit during the throw. So incompletion here. Second and ten. Raheem McLaughlin, he gets to the outside and is and has a first down at least. First and ten at the 47. Dwayne Haskins on the screen. He goes down and they recover it once again. It is Marco Brown, the edge rusher. He has the second fumble recovery within two minutes and the Seattle Seahawks take over with about a minute left in this game. Russell Wilson dumps it off to Chris Carson and he spins out of one tackle and has 12 until he's taken down. Timeout Seahawks. 42 seconds left and there is a nice catch made by Josh Reynolds. He gets out of bounds. Second and two. Russell Wilson. He... Wanted to scramble there, finds a man, that is Tyler Lockett, he has a first down catch. 31 seconds left, one timeout, left for the Seahawks offense, and there is a catch, but not out of bounds, so time keeps running, and now they take a timeout with 12 seconds left. Third and seven, they are going to run a play, 
Russell Wilson back across the middle and he is tackled inbounds. The Seahawks did not have a timeout left and that is halftime. Two big fumble recoveries for the Seahawks. Of course, if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. But we'll look at another game in this league. The Packers got destroyed by the 49ers, 31 to 10. So the Packers start with a loss as well. And Minnesota, they managed to pull out a victory against the Colts at home. Teddy Bridgewater with an excellent game here. 10 yards per attempt and three touchdowns. And Justin Jefferson, four receptions for 91. Great game. But yeah, the Seahawks start this half of football, so they have a chance to go up by two scores. Russell Wilson with the keeper. He breaks a tackle and is finally brought down by Javier Taylor. But not after gaining a first down. Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. He has a few. That's third and inches coming up. And Chris Carson up the middle, first down. Second and eight, Russell Wilson, he scrambles, throws it to Dallas Goddard and he's brought down. Third down and two coming up. And they bring the house, but it was not enough. James Harper has the first down, second year running back. Second and ten now for Russell Wilson and he is not going down before throwing the football, but it was ruled incomplete. Third and ten and Wilson's football falls incomplete here as well another good possession managed by the defense another punt accomplished and the offense comes back out onto the field and another huge hit is applied by jamal adams second and two carry on johnson up the middle and he has first down yardage that's a few yards calvin short spins the defender out at the line that's five yards great rush Karyon Johnson is taken down by Bud Dupree. Nice play. Karyon Johnson at three yards per attempt at the moment. Third and five. Haskins takes a shot for Lindell Thierry, but it is incomplete. And there is another punt. Russell Wilson still 7-0. Josh Reynolds has a first down catch for about seven yards. Third and three. Russell Wilson scrambles to the outside and throws it away. Another punt here. Second and eight. And Dwayne Haskins goes down. That is an 11-yard loss. But Dupree is in the backfield once again. Third and 19 coming up. And they are just going to run a screen and hope they get some of the yardage back. He jukes out of some people and he gets the first down. 26 yards on third and 19. Calvin Short. He is such an explosive weapon. Now carry on Johnson to the left side. He bulldozes over one man and is taken down by Porter after a great run. Finally getting down the field. First and 10 at the 45 now coming up and carry on Johnson here with a really nice run. Second and nine and there is a play action bootleg. Haskins over the middle and that is complete. Raheem Mech, Lachlan, he's into the end zone, 43-yard touchdown. Finally, they tie up this game, get on the board in the third quarter, which is already winding down. We are close to the fourth quarter now, and that was a really nice catch and run. 95 speed on this play there, and Russell Wilson gets rid of it, and Chris Carson gets hit down hard, five-yard gain. Russell Wilson, quick pass, Josh Reynolds, and he has the first down, six yards. First play in the fourth quarter now, and Chris Carson, he gets up the left side, and he has about nine yards, second and inches. Carson, no, it's a play action shot, and DK Metcalf got behind the defense. It's a Seahawks touchdown. What a play by the Seahawks. The Lions defense just bit on the run a little bit too hard and Metcalf got behind the entire defense. 
First and 10 for Dwayne Haskins. Down in a seven point hole right now and short doesn't go anywhere. Second and five, Dwayne Haskins gets rid of it and there is Lindell Thierry, he has 12 yards. First and 10, Dwayne Haskins. He hands it off and Calvin Short lost the football but luckily Sydney Woodyard falls back on top. Second and 13, Dwayne Haskins. He throws it over the middle and it is complete to Lindell Thierry with his 97 catch and traffic. About seven and a half minutes left in this game of football and there is Calvin Short and once again he can't get anywhere. Seven rushes for 11 yards. They are able to contain the run. Haskins over the middle and Kerryon Johnson can't hang on. That is another fourth down and they opt to take the field goal. 55 yards in heavy rain but this one is a good four point game. Six minutes left. Russell Wilson quick dump off over the middle. Dallas Goddard, he has seven yards. Now a bunch to the right for Wilson. He scrambles to the outside, he runs for it, and he takes the contact, and Tracy Walker applies a hit, but Wilson hangs on to the football and is down at the 40. Two tight ends, and Wilson goes down. Carlos Jefferson in the backfield, second sack of the season. He was just not blocked at all right up the gut and has a hopefully possession destroying sack here and now Josh Reynolds he gets back all the lost yardage and then some that is 12 yards and Chris Carson on third and two he falls ahead and that's a first down five yards now they go spread out the defense Wilson scrambling to his left and then he starts running up the field he Slide safely after a five yard pickup. Third and two. And they hand it off once again. And Chris Carson is through the line. Six yards, first down. Wilson hands it off to Carson. And he has a few yards. We are approaching the two minute warning now. And there it is. Second and nine. All three timers left for the Lions. Chris Carson up the middle. And he has some more than just the first down. That is 17 yards. Timeout taken by the Lions. Wilson hands it off to Carson. He has another few yards. And timeout is taken by the Lions. One timeout left. Second and seven. Motion. But it's a handoff to Chris Carson. And he goes backwards. Three yards. Timeout. Lions. That is their last time out. Third and 11 coming up. Russell Wilson. They set up the screen. Chris Carson is going down for another big loss of three yards. And the time is running down because the Lions do not have any timeouts anymore. But it, with exactly one minute left, there is a field goal occurring. And this is a seven point game once again. So Dwayne Haskins has to try to get to the end zone. And Calvin Short. He jukes back to the inside and that keeps the clock moving. They are going hurry up now. Haskins, he has some time. He takes a deep shot over the middle and this one is incomplete. Six Seahawks defenders in the area. Third and four, motion. That is third running back Craig Sutton and he has a lot of room. He gets out of bounds with a nice run of 24 yards nice play by Craig Sutton first and 10 motion for Calvin Short he gets the football he runs it to the outside and he gets out of bounds at the 23 that's 22 yards to Calvin Short now they are getting down the fields 19 seconds left Haskins on the bubble RPO and Raheem McLaughlin gets out of bounds outran one defender five yards that was Shaquille Griffin now Haskins is pressured and he takes a shot but is off the mark for the the linebacker clearing Arthega Whiteside and there is TJ Hawkinson on the drag is into the end zone it's a touchdown what a play by TJ Hawkinson and this game is almost tight pending the extra point with five seconds left the Lions try to tie this game up TJ Hawkinson with a nice
touchdown here. Now for the extra point, Joey Sly is iced by the Seahawks. So now they have to line up again. And for the extra point, Joey Sly, it's right down the middle. 17 to 17. A really defensive football game. And we are going to overtime here. And the Seahawks win the coin toss. So the Lions defense has to get off the field here. And they elect to defend left. Wilson for the first play in overtime. And there is a catch made by Caden Smith, but it's just a few yards. Second and six, Russell Wilson. He gets it away. It's a first down catch made by Tyler Lockett. And they are already almost to midfield at the 44 now. Russell Wilson almost taken down, but he gets the screen off. Chris Carson spins out one defender, spins out another defender and is brought down with nine yards. Now into Lions territory. Russell Wilson is stopped at the line of scrimmage. No, he got it. Chris Carson up the middle, breaks one tackle, is brought down with an 11 yard gain. Two tight ends now, Chris Carson. He breaks a tackle and he has a first down and now he is into the red zone as well and now they gotta stop them to at least get a field goal and get a shot at this game and there is a slant touchdown and this game is over DK Metcalf on the slant they go man coverage once in this entire game and it is a touchdown Russell Wilson on the money for DK Metcalf and Jeff Okuda gave up this touchdown here. He had such a great season last year, but gives up a touchdown here. Sadly, this game is now done and these overtime rules are absolutely terrible. I hope the NFL changes them soon. But yeah, that was a tough game and the rain didn't help at all. I couldn't run the football at all. It was so just embarrassing. We had, I think, not even three yards a carry. And that is just absolutely terrifying. And then you can't throw the football because it's raining all the time. So, so you fear that the receivers are dropping the ball all the time. Did not happen a lot today, but... Dwayne Haskins was off the mark as well. I didn't really trust him to throw the football all that much, but let's look at the numbers. It was a fine game for Haskins, but he had some inaccuracies that cost us possessions. Wilson had a great game. Chris Carson, 118 and 5.6 a carry. You cannot allow that. Kerryon Johnson, oh, with the one big run at the end, he managed to get to 3.9. Calvin Short, he had a lot of receptions and... DK Metcalf had two catches, 74 yards, and two touchdowns. Lindell Thierry had a few catches. TJ Hawkinson had the game-tying touchdown. Ramon Colon had 13 tackles. But Dupree and Artavius Callahan, they were in the backfield all the time. But Dupree even had two sacks, not just two TFLs, two sacks as well. Carlos Jefferson was the only one to get some pass rush today. And... Three forced fumbles for the Seahawks, Daron Payne, Bud Dupree, and Bobby Wagner. All of them had one forced fumble. And yeah, you can't win a game if you turn the ball over that much. Especially, we were about to score a touchdown. It was 0-0, and then we lose the football. And two plays later, it's 7-0 for the Seahawks instead of 7-0 for us. So that was really tough. And then we got down the field halfway. And we lose the football once again. And they almost got a field goal out of that as well. So that was absolutely terrible timing. And returns that went way too deep into our territory. And then also Calvin Short lost the football. I couldn't believe what I saw when that third fumble happened as well. And yeah, the Steelers signed a corner from our practice squad. So now I found another guy. But oh well, the Vikings were the only team to win in week one. Next week, there is going to be a real challenge. We are going to play 
the Arizona Cardinals and they were in the playoffs last year. They are a contender every year now because they have a really young roster with some good developing pieces and we'll see how that goes but that's gonna do it for this episode thanks for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe for more lines franchise see you in the next episode until then spread some love